Okay, so I've got a lot of things going on on this property uh, right now. You know, you see a big pile of debris over here from the last mobile home. I've got some more stuff to burn. Uh, always going to be burning something. Got uh, this building has to come down. The crack house is not going to come down for uh, several months anyway. I'm going to I'm going to make use of that as as good dry storage. Of course, I got uh, a logging operation I'm getting started. I got the frame for the other trailer house that has to. Uh, uh, get disassembled. I'm actually going to repurpose the uh, the frame part and you'll see what that's about shortly um, Got the JCB running. How's that? That's a that's a win, but I've got a priority right now uh, That's going to supersede all of this other stuff and that is to get my uh, my machinery out from underneath the weather because it is December 5th right now and uh, no, it's the fourth. Is it the fifth? What is today? It's the fifth of December today. Um, and I don't know if you've heard, but winter is coming. And uh, I want to get my machines out from uh, at least get keep the snow off it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my my shipping container and build an awning off of each side. Okay, so I'll have parking space under here for the tractor and over here. We're going to have our sawmill right here and over here we can work logs and bring logs to the sawmill here and actually cut up lumber right here and we're going to put that under cover so that is the current priority and uh, our first first step in that is well get some concrete i only needed a little bit of concrete but i got a lot of concrete now but um, this is on a slope tipping backwards I want to level this so I'm going to have to lift up the rear prop it up with blocks and pour some footings under each of these corners so they're level let it back down and then do the same with the front side so kind of a two-step operation and then and only then can we start to uh, build off of this thing other thing to consider is I've got a lot of trees back here that I'm going to harvest. There's going to be a lot of trees on this property coming down because we're going to build with them. That's why I got the sawmill. So I need to knock down at least five or six of these trees that are in the in the uh, vicinity of of this operation. So I need to go ahead and knock those down before I get too deep into building a structure here. That uh, you know it. It just makes more sense to cut down a tree before you build here. <laughs> so that's what's going to happen. And we're using this material here that we got off the uh, the mobile home frame. So, um, what do you say before we go home today, we actually get the back end of this lifted and, and uh, blocked up? I'm going to. By the way, I was able to find a used set of forks. They're upside down right now. It's probably... Well, you don't recognize them. Um, they're not very long forks at all, but they're gonna go. They go on the uh, the JCB or any such equipment like that. But um, we might use that if the bucket doesn't work to get underneath the container and lift it up. But I think the bucket's gonna work.
It's not going anywhere. I'm going to dig some footings and frame in some footings there and pour concrete there to let it back down on. And again, we're going to do that again to the front side. All right, we're going to head over here to the uh, the old crack house and see what kind of boards we can get that uh, we already milled up that we're going to use for forms. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to check out the rainwater situation. Okay. <laughs> I'm collecting water and everything that can hold water because, again, we got concrete to, to mix. Got a lot of water in the blue bucket. Oh, wow. Okay. So, this this one's completely full, as was the case uh, weeks ago. Um, I got this one plugged with uh, some plumbing goop, basically some kind of uh, slimy clear stuff that you spread over. I spread over the holes, and it's holding water, and uh, we're almost full there. So we got plenty of water to work with for concrete. All right, so let's go inside and see what we got for bucket, or I mean uh, boards. Um, were those the one of those one and a half inch boards you made me Uh, nope, just oh. making boards to make boards. Okay, right. we got some thicker ones that's gonna be for beams on this next project. But we got plenty of boards here that we can cut up and waste on concrete. Um, because you know, once you pour concrete in them, we can just reuse them for that or just throw them away. And that's no loss. Because remember these logs are all all crappy and wormy and dry and rotten. So we're just gonna use those for concrete forms. You got it. <laughs> Looks like I can hold it, but not for long. Might be a little too much for you? Yep. All right, so a couple more years for that. Yeah. All right. All right, Bennett, we got these saw horses. We're going to set this board up so you can cut them into parts. Okay, Bennett, so uh, I'm going to have you cut these uh, into sections that we're going to make a box from and you're gonna we're gonna then uh, uh, put them underneath the corners on a uh, prepared surface and then we're going to fill them with concrete and let them dry for about a day so I'm um, gonna go ahead and show you how to use the square uh, so basically this is all about making things at a right angle um, so first we want to prepare the end so this is obviously not cut off uh, square so we're going to cut it square uh, you got your pencil. Go ahead. Okay. Great. Okay. So let's go ahead and make our next line to 12 inches. Let's call it 13 inches. All right. And that's actually let's actually go on the outside. And that's going to give us a total of 15 inches. Okay. Okay. So we're going to need two sides that are 15 inches. Okay. Right. And then. Uh, we'll do uh, two more that are inside. Okay. Okay. That's assuming our thickness is one inch, which it is not. It's actually seven eighths. Yep. That's about an inch. Whatever. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. Screw right? it. Right. So. Just screw it. So we're gonna do two boards that are measured from the outside, and two boards that are measured from the inside. Okay. Okay. And then we'll put those together in a box and uh, fill them with concrete tomorrow or the next day. Okay, so you want to get all the way over here. Start with this one. Just follow that line and get all the way through it. Okay, check this out. You're going to use your thumb 
as a guide. And you can, here, let me show you first. So you use your thumb right here as a guide and a brace. And you want to pull, okay? To, to get it started, you want to pull. Okay. okay. And then once you create that groove, you can start going back and forth. Okay, what you're doing is you're pushing down. You want to let the weight of the saw do the work. Okay. So, okay. Always be making adjustments to follow your line, especially at the beginning. Uh, so, I finished the first cut. Um, I finished marking the, all, all the other cuts okay. that I will make. Um, and I'm getting uh, started on the second one. All right, looks good. Yep. As soon as you get these done, we'll, we'll nail them all together and uh, start getting them in place and uh, seeing where level is. Okay, remember just the weight of the saw. Nailing it together? Huh? Ready to nail it together? You ready to get that done? Yep. Okay, set it down right here. Alright, go find the hammer in the toolbox or the tool bag. Yeah. Okay, and down here I got a bunch of uh, nails that were left behind. We're just going to use those. And uh, we got free nails, free wood, free labor. <laughs> The hammer. Got the hammer. All right, so make a make a square. Actually, what you want to do is find your long boards and put in about get uh, about two nails started on each end, so you don't have to hold them up halfway through. That's good. Yeah, let's take it over to the floor where it's nice and solid. That's that floor. Yep. thing is we have a flat edge that we can level the concrete from. Okay, remember which side is our bottom, which side is our top actually, so we want to make sure that this is aligned. Alright, we got the second form done. Okay, Ben, let's go ahead and take it back to the back corner. I got the back all cleaned up here, so it's ready. We're going to stake it up to where level is, and then we're going to uh, add more boards underneath so the concrete doesn't spill out the bottom. And then uh, it's time for concrete. And then once that dries and sets, we're going to lower it down on level uh, footings. And uh, then we'll do the front side. What time is it now? On the time to go get on the tractor. So you're getting the lap restraint and controls set for you. Set uh, back as far as it'll go. Yep. Okay. All right, so here's the key. Now before you go and twist the motor on, turn it so the, uh, the electrics come on. Which way? Right to or the way? right, one click. Okay, so right now, the electrics on, are on. What you're gonna do, now this is a diesel engine, okay? Diesel engines are a little bit different than gas engines because they've got something inside them called a glow plug, which okay. is what ignites the fuel. 
those have to heat up. You have to give them some time to heat up. So when you first get in a diesel engine vehicle, you have to turn the electrics on for about 10 seconds. Okay. And then the engine should be ready to go. All right, ready to go. You ready to turn it on? <sighs> Twist it. Give it another. The right side controls the bucket and the arm, okay. so you're going to pull that back to lift it up a little bit. Okay, give it a little bit of gas with your foot. Lift it up. Safety feature. Okay, give it gas. Okay. Now, nothing's behind you. Huh? Nothing is behind you, so go ahead and re reverse with the other hand. Okay, go that way. So what do you think? My boy, what'd you think? Uh, honestly, uh, for like the first half, it was a little more traumatizing than, uh, you know, traumatizing. I it was actually fun. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm actually kind of shaking right now. Yeah? Well, that's, that's a big deal. You drove construction equipment. Yeah. The only other thing with a motor you've ever driven is a go-kart, huh? Yeah. Well, that's a big deal. You can yeah. tell all your friends you drove a, a skid steer or a bobcat. Yeah. So, right. overall, what do you yeah. think? Are you ready to start working with it? Uh, sure. Yeah. Well, there's some safety stuff we got to talk about first. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, good job. You got out there, kind of... Got my you, hands dirty? Got your hands dirty. Yep, exactly. Good All right. Before. Hey, you know what? I think we should go ahead and end the video here. Yep. Okay. We're going to end on a really high note. Got a lot of work done today, and... Uh, Got to teach Bennett how to drive a big truck, a big tractor. All right, so if you like what you're seeing here and you want to see more and you want to see what this place becomes, we don't even know, right? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and subscribe and, uh, and we'd like to have you along for the journey. See ya. See ya. Bye.